Well, hello to you. We're here to talk about Letters to a Young Poet by Rainier Maria Rilke. Uh, this is the Anita Barrows and Joanna Macy translation. It's a new translation and commentary from a 120 year old work. 111 year old work. I don't know. Math hard. Um, my notes aren't pulled up. So, um, this is, this was, a. Uh, I bought this at my local independent bookstore. Um, I, oh no. Okay, I do have my notes. My notes are very limited on this because I did it very quickly before the storm rolled in. And I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Um, so this was a, I just happened to see it and... I have a Rainier Maria Rilke um, poetry book. I say poet. I think that's the only thing he does poetry. Um, I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head. I, I don't see it, but I, I really enjoyed it. And I just happened to see this one. I thought, oh, interesting. I knew nothing about it. Um, but um, RMR will just say, uh, he was born December 4th, 1875 in Prague, Prague, I bet it's Prague, December 20, died to December 29th, 1926 in Montreux, Montreux, Switzerland, and the guy that he was writing to, Franz Xavier, Xavier, Capus, Javier, Franz Javier, Cap I, I don't know, I how are you supposed to pronounce it? Uh, born, he was born May 17th, 1883, and died, um, oh, I'm sorry, in, we'll just say Austria, Hungary, because I'm not sure the name of this town. And uh, he died October 9th, 1966, and I didn't write it down, but it was Germany. I don't remember where in Germany. I'm, I'm terrible at taking notes. This was originally published in 1929. What this is, it's a collection of 10 letters from um, Rilke, we don't see, and well, okay, um, in Friday's, um, book call from Noah, everyone here is in this converse, he says that he has, coming in, a collection where it's both their, um, letters, that thundercloud come through, um, I have not seen it, but I would like to get my hands on it, so I'm waiting for him to hold that thing, that bad boy up, and uh, so I can take a look at it and order it. But so we only have in this one, we only have um, Rook's letters to uh, Capus. Uh, there's ten of them, um, and they were written between 1902 and 1908. And so um, Capus was at a uh, military um, academy and he was reading this gentleman's works and the chaplain came by and mentioned that uh, Rainier was used to go to the same academy and uh, so Capus decided to reach out to Rainier to try to get some um, critique on his poetry and instead of getting critiqued he got a mixture of um, wisdom and um, hmm, I, want, <laughs> I, I don't know exactly how to explain it but a lot of, a lot of the letters felt like Rainier was Eeyore where uh, he, just a thundercloud is falling him around, and you know this is how this is the impression I got. Maybe you read it differently, and maybe I'm completely, you know, uh, off in the left field here. Um, but it was like a mixture of wisdom and just kind of um, emo. <laughs> Get, Rainier was emo, so. But there's a couple really cool things. Um, oh, well, anyway, I'm bouncing around. My 
I'm uh, completely not organized tonight. Um, but essentially, he um, declined to give him critique, but um, and to make it known to this guy, don't accept critique. It doesn't matter from him or anybody else. Do what you want to do. Make it good. You know, write it from the heart. But um, I got a couple of sticky notes here. Let's try to see if I can remember. Oh, so this is in book or letter three, and um, so Rainier says. Finally, with regard to my books, I wish I could send you all of them for your enjoyment. But I am very poor and don't own my own books once they're published. I can't even buy them for I can't even buy them myself or as I often wish give them away to those who appreciate them this man who I mean he's still in print today so I mean that's kind of amazing for one that you know someone's been in print for a hundred years you know, how many people just think of all the huge books that have came out even recently, 99.9% .9 of them will be forgotten in our lifetime, and probably in, in 10 years. So this guy, who ends up being a, I don't know, prolific really, but a huge, he's a big deal, can't even buy his own books, can't even send his own books to a friend can't can't scratch yeah he, he's traveling all around the world in these letters too which i think must have been super duper cheap to to travel back in the day let's see what this one says these are the two that i have marked uh when you're when you are feeling anguish to think of your childhood and of its quiet and simplicity because you can't believe in God anymore, God who was everywhere in your childhood, then ask yourself if you've really lost God, or if, in fact, you have never possessed him. For when would you have? Do you think that a child can possess God, whom adults can carry only with great struggle? Do you think that one who really has him could lose him like a little stone? Or don't you think that one who holds him could only be lost by him? But if you realize that he was not in your childhood and not anywhere before, if you suspect that Christ was deceived by his longing and uh, by his longing and Muhammad betrayed by his pride, and if you feel seized with horror that he doesn't exist now in this hour that we speak of him, how do you figure, then, that he who never was could be lost? That you could miss him and seek him like something you had mislaid? Well, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool little paragraph there. So, anyway, um, I really, really dig these, uh, these letters. Um, I, like I said, I, I really want to get my hands on the uh, a copy with both their correspondence but as far as like just the this is good too you know it's it's good it's, I don't know if it's 1495 good because I paid full retail for it but I'm not disappointed that I read it and I will be once once I get my hands on the um a copy with both their works in it, and I'll revisit it and I'll probably do a video on it as well. So, I think that's it for this one, peeps. If you're a Ramir Maria Rilke fan, uh, I said, and you haven't read this, I suggest reading this. Uh, even if you don't know who the guy is, I still suggest reading this. Um, it's very interesting, even if he is emo. So, that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.